In this video, a Python-based WebSocket network is presented. The network is composed of a server serving multiple clients. WebSocket is a full-duplex bidirectional data communication protocol. It allows a server to serve multiple clients in real time with low latency. In this tutorial, we have a WebSocket uh, server application serving multiple clients. All of these applications are written in Python. The server application is pending for a message from either client. Client 1 will send a text message. The server will receive the message, capitalize the letters, and send it back to Client 1. Next, Client 2 will send its message to the server and the server will then return the process message. We begin with the WebSocket server application. We need to import two modules, Asynchronous I.O. and WebSockets. Now, module WebSockets is built on foundation module Asynchronous I.O. The script begins by running this method, which calls this function main. Inside function main, and through this method here, serve, this function handler is called. This is an event handler for WebSocket. We also send the name of the server, which is a local host, and the port address of the WebSocket server 8765. And this statement will continuously run the event handler. Function handler, which is an event handler for WebSocket, will receive the data from the server and save it into this object. We then convert the value of the object into a string value and save it into this string variable. And then using the function or the method send, we send the data back to the uh, client by doing a simple processing which is to uppercase all the letters of the message. The client application uses module tkenter to create the GUI for the client. On the client side, we can send a message. By clicking on the send button, this function will be invoked. And using the run method here, we can run the function run WebSocket. Inside function run WebSocket, we copy the server address onto the string variable. The address is localhost at port 8765. And then we use a try and accept blocks in order to catch any exceptions that may occur. Inside the try block and using method connect, we connect with the server through the address. And then we get the input text message from the client and then send it to the server. The server will receive the message and then reply with another message, which will then be received by the uh, client and stored into this string variable and then displayed on the output on the client side. If the connection between the client and the server is lost, let's say we shut down the server and we try to send this message, the accept block will be executed and this string value no server connection will be displayed on the client side. In a future video, microcontroller ESP32 connected to sensors will be programmed as a WebSocket server using MicroPython in order to serve multiple web-based client applications. Thank you for watching.